Okay, let's get back to exploring. I can see it. True form.
Whoa! as a safe room. supposed to get past that door I don't know you think there's some kind of off switch somewhere looks like this is where I come in Mona I have a suspicious place in mind remember this shack is the basis for Madarame's palace I actually scouted it out the last time we were here oh so this was your plan from the start correct you only went scouting because you were bored. So? Where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. But don't we want to be opening the door in the palace? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Madarame's eyes. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. In other words, when we open the one in Madarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that gonna work? Trust me, there's no chance it won't open. I think. You understand, don't you, Joker? Well, yeah, but... Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. But even then, there's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Ugh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Madarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh. Oh! How are we even gonna get into his house? 
We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves in. What? I guess the only way is having you go nude. What? Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. This isn't funny! We're not saying you should really get naked. It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Madarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me! Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. Is that really gonna work? I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan. Do I have to be the bait? But what if, you know, uh, um, nothing. All you gotta do is trick Yusuke, have him take you to that room, then just open the door. You make it sound so easy. But if there's no other way, I don't... Uh, I don't... I don't have a choice. Uh, God! Fine, I'll do it. For justice. Seriously, you better pull this off. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, alright? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down! I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open, got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. Alright, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Tomorrow? Earlier the better. Um, but... Uh, will Kitagawa-kun agree? I don't know. Just say something like, I really need it to be tomorrow. That should work, yeah? Okay. We'll be counting on you.
What? Okay. To think you'd really come. I assumed you were lying when you contacted me. I'm sorry it was so sudden. Oh, it's not a problem. But, as I told you yesterday, Sensei will be returning in about 20 or 30 minutes. So, um... I'm sorry if that causes some anxiety on your part. That's why I'm here today, damn it! What was that? Oh, no! <laughs> it was nothing! By the way... Have you gained some weight? You think so? I weigh the same as always. Maybe I'm bloated today. So then, can you, um, get ready here? I need to take my clothes off, right? Yes, please. I'm embarrassed. Uh, could you look the other way? <sighs> oh. Phew, that was tight. Tight? No, oh, I'm doing this for art. Don't look over here, okay? Hey, your sensei's coming back soon, right? I believe so. Hmm. Do you think we could do this somewhere else then? A little more atmosphere would be lovely. This should be good enough. But wouldn't a room with a lock be a bit better? A lock? <laughs> Must a girl say more? <sighs> But the only one with a lock is Sensei's room. Then why not there? I can't intrude. Besides, I don't have the key. <sighs> he says he doesn't have the key. It's okay. That's why I'm here. I'll just use this hairpin. Takamaki-san, are you about... You were wearing all this? D don't you think it's cold today? <laughs> I suppose so. The sun is starting to set. Right? That's why a change of location would be nice. I mean, I'm gonna take it all off. True. It might make for a better picture if I can brighten my model's mood. Uh-huh. That's right. She may even be willing to try out various expressive poses for use in a dynamic composition. What kind of poses? Lady On, you have to act. Get back in character. <clears throat> Let's go. I was just starting to get in the mood. Wait. If you wander around, Sensei will... Oh, it's... So hot. We really can't use any other room. Hey, why not this one? Please wait. I'm counting on you, Mona. Are they seriously going to be able to pull this off? She was saying stuff like. I'll just seduce him with my acting, but that sounds out of her league. Plus, we ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Matarame coming home soon? On top of that, even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's he gonna show it to Matarame? And then even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? I want to think that too, but it's almost time. Please, can you just wait and... What's past here? That's... 
So the door Mona mentioned is up ahead. I keep telling you, you can't! You're still not done? It's hard to do this with cat paws. Uh, is something the matter? Oh, um... So, what is this room? It's a storage area for old paintings. Storage? Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we do it in here? I won't be embarrassed if we go somewhere nobody can find us. Only Sensei can go in there. Please. I want to be alone with you. Somewhere like... Quiet! <laughs> you know, where we won't get interrupted. Is he really going to buy that terrible act? Stay focused! Hmm? Oh, it's just so frustrating that my feelings aren't getting through to you. Kitagawa-kun, do you not like girls like me? No, th that's not true. How is that working on him? Please, we can continue this inside. Sh sure. I mean, no, we can't go in there. Uh, it's locked anyway, so... Fine, this is too embarrassing. I'm leaving. But... Let's just do it in here, okay? What do I do? I'm home. S sensei Yusuke? All right, it's open. Huh? What are you doing there? It's it's not what it looks like. What? Not in there. Nothing's happening. I wonder what's... Hmm? It's off! They seriously did it! Yeah, for real! Let's go! Sorry. They got past the security system? You cannot go any further. You are trespassing on Lord Matarame's territory. You guys ain't got nothing on us. I'm more scared of screwing up and having on yell at me. Persona!
through me. Kamaki-san, this is bad. Are these the lights? <gasps> what the... Isn't this Sayuri? Why are there so many of them? I have no idea. Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. But why? The real Sayuri was stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudged my strictness. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. Because of this distress, some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me from time to time. I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it resulted in nothing more than replicas. That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing, well, they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. As expectations for me rose, it reached a point where I had no choice but to keep making them. I needed money to further your talents. I ask that you please forgive your cowardly teacher. Please, don't. Hold on, something doesn't add up. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it in an art book. So you managed to sell copies of a photo of the original? I'm not sure how this works, but... Don't people who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? Mm, this sounds like a lie to me. What would you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Lady On! This one seems different. Sayuri. This... This is the real Sayuri. You just said a moment ago that it was stolen. That's a replica. No, it's nothing of the sort. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. Sensei, don't tell me. It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. You're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. You too? I've reported you to my private security company. What? I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. Talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. Lady On, let's run! A cat! Where did it... There's no point! They'll be here within two minutes! Takamaki-san! Yeah, let's go! All right.
Whoa! Those two managed to get away. You two are... I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before, though. What is this place? We are inside Matarame's heart. Inside Sensei's heart? I'm sorry, Takamaki-san. But are you sure you're feeling okay? She ain't lying. This is what that bastard truly feels. He's nothing but a greed-filled money grubber. Enough of this rubbish! Kitagawa-kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Matarame? That's... Uh... You may not want to believe it, but this is another reality as viewed through Matarame's eyes. This is his true nature. This repulsive world? Just who are all of you? I guess you could say we're a group that changes the hearts of Ron Crooks. If everything you say is true, then the sensei I know doesn't exist. You gotta snap out of it. Still, he has kept me safe these past ten years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... Are you okay? I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. But we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once. <sighs> yes. Yes. Could this be? Bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the museum of the master artist, Madarame. Huh? Sensei? Is that you? That attire? Disgusting. This... 
This is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. <laughs> How naive! If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? The painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Ha <laughs> ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Art sobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that! No. The worth of art is purely subjective. Thus, this is a legitimate business transaction. Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum! You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame! You help me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> to think I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you! So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Men, dispose of these thieves! Get back! How amusing. Huh? <laughs> It seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Kitagawa-kun? I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind and unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Have you finally come to your senses? <laughs> How foolishly you averted your eyes from the truth. A deplorable imitation indeed. Best you part from that aspect of yourself. Let us now forge a contract. I am thou, thou art I. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. It is time you teach people which is which. Very well. Come. Go on! Ah! Uh. 
a breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish! Whoa, this is impressive! Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be death! Where are my guards? Kill them all! The children who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes, I will bring you to justice! I am ready! Presence of Lord Marwame! On your knees, intruders! I learned much from you, Marwame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With Goemon by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. This is my other self! Goemon, strike! <laughs> You are good for something, Skull! Persona! Go down! Go down, Persona! 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 Go down, Down. Prepare yourself. Stay what still. That? Focus. Joker's dizzy. Persona. The Joker is going to be worth now. Now. Oh, that that Come on, Joker. Persona. Let's do this. Eat this. Panther, watch them carefully. Let's go. Die. future down the drain. I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist. Matarame! You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me! Get back here! Kitagawa-kun! Why can't I move? Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? He is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father. But he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori, the very foundation of his art, like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. 
I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I have been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. For real. What are you going to do now? I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame's gone and changed. But we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh crap! We'll talk later. We need to scram! When did my clothes change? You just noticed that now? Save it for after. Let's go! I see. And because of that, this P.E. teacher's had a change of heart. Phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. Indeed. Well, I have to believe your words, especially after seeing a world like that. So, your plan with Madarame-sensei, with Madarame, is to force a change of heart, correct? Let me join, as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this, for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, in some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're not gonna deal with Madarame anyways. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't fail-safe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Kitagawa-kun. It's a deal, then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. I hope we get along, Yusuke. You better not slow us down. I'll do my best. Thank you. I ask that you coach me well. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Madarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. What did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, he's still furious about it, and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? We'll have to force a change of heart before then, if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. By the way, what is this? Huh? A cat. But it's talking. You have a problem with that? No, not really. Why not? He's just on a different wavelength than other people. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Oh! I didn't bring any money. 
Never mind. He's just weird. Hey. No, no, no.